And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Isanosaurus, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. It was a sauropodomorph that lived in the late Triassic or late Jurassic. There's been some debates and updates on that. In what is now Thailand in the Namphong Formation. There's a very wide time range, late Triassic to late Jurassic. <laughs> yes. So it's estimated to be about 21 feet or six and a half meters long based on the thigh bone. But parts of the holotype skeleton weren't fused, so the holotype may not have been fully grown, and it could have gotten bigger. It had high neural spines. The type and only species is Isanosaurus adivipaci. It was named in 2000 by Eric Buffata and others. The genus name means Northeastern Thailand Lizard, Isan Lizard, and Isan is the local name for Northeastern Thailand. The species name is in honor of P. Adivipach, former director general of the Thai Department of Mineral Resources and a supporter of paleontological research. Nice. Yeah. These fossils were found in 1998 by a hunter looking for nocturnal flying squirrels <laughs> who spotted the fossils in the moonlight. I want to go look for nocturnal flying squirrels. That sounds really fun. And then stumble upon fossils in the moonlight. <laughs> it sounds like a, quite a magical night. It does. Although, I don't know, if you're in like the rainforest in Thailand at night, it might be a little bit terrifying too. <laughs> Maybe. Just keep thinking of the squirrels. You got to know what you're doing. Yeah. The fossils were found in dark red sandstone. Most of the bones had eroded by the time they were found. The hollow type includes a neck vertebra, back vertebra, parts of the tail, some fragmentary ribs, part of the shoulder and thigh. Now, at the time, Isanosaurus was the earliest known sauropod dinosaur. Originally, it was thought to have lived about 210 million years ago. But in 2009, Racy and Goodall dated Isanosaurus from the early Jurassic hmm. instead of the Triassic. It's one of the earliest sauropodomorphs to walk on all fours. It was an obligate quadrupedal dinosaur. It had a robust femur, quote, with a sauropod-like straight craniocotyly flattened shaft, end quote. So it had a robust straight thigh bone. That definitely would be pretty amazing if it was 210 million years old, because that sounds a lot like a typical later Jurassic sauropod. Yes. Yeah, because it had these column-like legs and it walked on all fours. In bipedal sauropodomorphs, the leg bone is curved. So Isanosaurus had sauropod features, but it also had earlier features that, quote, seemed to illustrate an early stage in the evolution of characters more fully developed in later, more advanced sauropods, end quote. Hmm. So it's not all looking like a fresh-faced late Jurassic <laughs> fresh sauropod. <faced. laughs> no, it, it did look like a typical sauropod with the bulky body and the long neck and the long tail and then walking on four legs. But again, it just lived pretty early. It just had a couple features that were more like the early sauropods. Yes. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 